turns to God and lie in him as his rest. He acquaints himself with inward religion and sincerely serves God, worships sacredly, and loves to be alone with God, to, con to converse with him in solitude. Huh, you want to be by yourself. I don't want anybody else around me so I can just let loose and just tell every God everything. I just want to commune with him. I want to let him know all my troubles. Sometimes I can't cry in front of my wife. But in my secret place, I can't stop the tears. Hallelujah. I'm talking about that secret place. Confidence in troubled times. Mm, it is a privilege and comfort of those that do so that they abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He shelters them and come between them and everything that would annoy them, whether storm or sunshine, feast or famine, trouble <laughs> on every hand. But in my secret place, it doesn't matter because I'm under the Almighty. Mm -hmm. I'm under God's protection. He will be their rest and refuge, not just for a moment, but forever. He said he would, didn't he? Yes, he did. I, I, as I was reading these uh, passages, I ran across shadow in there. And I said, let me deal with shadow just a little bit. Right. Under the shadow of the Almighty. Huh? Right. And I noticed that shadow was mentioned over 70 times in the scriptures. Amen? Right. 70 times. And not all the time was it a shadow of protection and safety. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it was a shadow of death. Amen. Right or the shadow of something else. But it was definitely in there. We, we know what shadows is. I can remember seeing the shadow when I was little. It was mysterious to me. Yeah, yeah. I used to try to race mine. <laughs> Have you ever seen someone try to race their shadow? Yeah. I never won, but I tried to beat it. Amen. And sometimes the shadow is mysterious. Sometimes the shadow come out and you see a shadow and you don't see the object of the shadow. And you get a little nervous. Say, I see something. I'm moving around. There's a shadow or something over there. And you tend to get a little uneasy. But the object of the shadow is what counts. Let's say the shadow of the Almighty. That means protection and safety. Uh, yes. Yes, yes. Psalm 36 and 7 kind of let us know. And it refers to God as the ultimate shadow of protection for these scriptures that we're talking about. Psalm 36 and 7 reads, How excellent is thy loving kindness, O God! Therefore, children of men put their trust under the shadow of thy wing. Uh -huh. Psalm 36 and 7. I thought that was awesome, and it didn't even come to me until this morning when I read over my lesson again, and I flipped uh, by accident, the 36 to a 63, you know, in that scripture, 63 and 7. So I said, let's just go ahead and read and see what that says. So 36 and 7 says that, and 63 and 7 says this, because thou has been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. Uh -huh. I said, that was awesome there. I said, thank you, Lord Jesus for that nugget right there. Just in case I got a little off track, you put me back on track, but you still stuck me with the shadow. Hallelujah. And I said, thank you for your word, Lord Jesus. God protects believers with the greatest tenderness and affection, which is private and personal, in that he shall cover thee with his feathers under his wing, which alludes to the hen gathering her chickens. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's in the Bible. Matthew 23 and 37. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou hast killed the prophets and stoneth them which are sent unto thee. How often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathered her chickens under her wings? And you would not. So it's in the Bible. Amen. He, he covers us like a chicken, like a hen. <laughs> Cover her chicks. Isn't that something? Wow. With his feathers. Yeah, yeah. 
with his feathers. Yeah. He protects you. He has a place for us to hide. <laughs> we got somewhere we can run. Hallelujah. Yeah, when things are not looking right, and that mama hen says something, tuk, tuk, those chickens come running, and they know what to do. And we're just like that, amen. We're just like that. Even as a hen guarding her chickens under her wings, uh huh. by natural instinct, she not only protects them, but calls them under that protection when she sees them in danger. Not only keeps them safe, but cherish them and keep them warm. Mm -hmm. To this great, the great God is pleased to compare his care of his people. That's what he used to show us how much he cared for us. That little analogy with the hands, amen. People who are helpless as the chickens and easily made a prey, but are invited to trust under the shadow of the wings of the divine promise and providence. This is an expression of a true religion that he has come to trust under the wings of God of Israel, as Ruth 2 and 12 says, with the greatest power of efficiency. But there is something about those wings, though. With the greatest power of efficiency. Because you say, you know, Wings ain't really that strong, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. But what gives that power yeah. when those chickens come up under that wing? If we yeah. go up under the wing of the Almighty, right. something got to give that some, some force yeah. because you can break through feathers really easy, can't you? Yeah. I read a little further in there, and it says, mm, yet weak and easily broken, through and therefore it is added his truth <laughs> shall be thy shield and buckler a strong defense his truth his truth is his word and his word is his promise he's shielding us with his promise as a shield and the truth as a buckler to us when we run for safety under his wings hallelujah up under that shadow amen because you said I can just overtake that, I can overtake that hand with those chickens under there. All she got is feathers moving right there. Uh -huh. But in the case of God, He has something else. Yeah. His word, Hallelujah. Yeah. So you ain't coming over there, because when you see that stance and those wings that we up under there, His word has already been spoken, and the enemy know. Don't come near. Don't come near. Somebody say Hallelujah. hallelujah. I just found that word to be awesome, Amen. And, 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 and confiding to me, yeah. even in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> and we certainly are in trouble time. Yeah. We look all around us and we see everything that's happening and all the stuff that's going on. Yeah. How can we yet be peaceful yeah. in our spirit and in our soul? That's because we have him as our almighty protector. Yeah. Because we have a place to hide. We have a place to run. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you, Jesus. I don't want to get too fast and ahead of myself. I, will, I just want to share some more of this to you. Mm. Confidence in troubling times. Mm. Let's go down to that seventh verse. Seventh verse. 91, seven. Hallelujah. We're going somewhere. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going somewhere. We're not, we're not going to be diverted. Hey. We're going there. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Amen. That seventh verse says, A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. You know what? <laughs> that's awesome, isn't it? What is he talking about? He's talking about all the trouble that's around us. Pestilence and diseases. Oh, it's stuff to worry about, isn't it? If you let it, but if you're covered by him, you shouldn't worry. Hallelujah. Say, because none of it will come even near to you. Oh, it'll be all around you. Thousand might fall on the left hand. So many on the right hand. They're falling all around you. 
Say, oh, Lord, that's going to get on me. Mosquito bit me. Hallelujah. I said, oh, Lord, mosquito bit me. I feel weak. I said, no, devil, you's a lie. I know I don't. Hallelujah. Because I have his word. Hallelujah. I had to come to my senses and speak life. Amen. And not death. Amen. I'm in the secret place. And you can't hurt me now. Because Jesus is mine. He's my buckler. He's my armor. And he's my all in all. All right, now let me slow down just a little bit before I get ahead of myself. All right, all right. Bless you. That they shall be preserved in trouble. This is in reference to the seventh verse. In a distinguishing way. When death rides in triumph and diseases rage so that thousands and ten thousands fall by sickness or fall by the sword in battle, fall at that side at thy right hand, and the sight of their fall is enough to frighten you. Yeah. And if they fall by pestilence, their falling so near, there may be likely to infect thee, yet it shall not come nigh thee. The death shall not, the fear of death shall not. Those that preserve their purity in times of trouble may trust God with their safety in times of lack. Amen. When there's time of lack, we can trust God. Yeah, when things are running short and the economy is really bad, paycheck is shorter and shorter, bills are rolling around faster and faster. People laying off everywhere. Oh, you're talking about lack, huh? But God got your back, hallelujah. He said it right here. Yes, he said it right here in his word. Mm, 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 mm. When multitudes die around us, hallelujah. God is so good, isn't he? Oh, God, I needed that word, hallelujah. He know I needed that word, hallelujah. Confidence in troubling time. Confidence uh, in troubling time. When multitudes die around us and then we're awakened to prepare for our own death, we yet must not be afraid with any amazement nor make ourselves subject to bondage of fear. As many do all their lifetime through fear of death. The sprinkling of the blood secured the firstborn of Israel when thousands fell. Just a sure example of that. Didn't he cover them? <laughs> We're talking about covering under the wings of the Almighty. So if God have to sprinkle the blood, or if he have to give us something to do to secure his own, he will. Hallelujah. So we have confidence in troubled times. That God will keep his promise. And he will keep his word, huh? Yes, God said that they shall have the satisfaction of seeing not only God's promises fulfilled to them, but his threatenings fulfilled upon those that hate him. So he'll let you see your enemy fall before he lets you fall. Amen. Those who are out to see you fall, I say, I knew he wasn't going to last. I knew he was going to fall. and say, hey, 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 don't, don't, don't be boasting too much. I haven't met their dads yet. <laughs> he was telling my, my dad to get this whole thing, he'll tie all of this down. He'll beat up all. What all I could do, my chest was sticking out a little. I said, wait a minute. <laughs> you put me way out there, man. <laughs> I haven't met their dads yet. Mm, mm. Believing your dad is the strongest guy on the block inspires a lot of confidence in troubling times. That is why I love the fact that God our Father is almighty. That means that no one can match his strength and power. Better still, it means that you and I 
abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So it's no wonder the psalmist can confidently say that he will not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Mm. Somebody say, trouble, trouble. Get, out of my way. get out of my way. Regardless of what today may bring or the trouble you are now going through, don't forget that your God is stronger than anything in your life. So be confident the shadow of his all prevailing presence guarantees that his power can turn even the worst situation into something good. Mm, I'm reminded in the Psalms of 23 that the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul, even in troubled time. <laughs> he leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, the shadow of the Almighty is greater than the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, someone say, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Father God, in the midst of my trouble, teach me to rest in the fact that you are almighty. Thank you for the confidence that I have that you are stronger than anything. Say, my God is greater. If my God is greater, my God is stronger than anything that threatens me all my life. God is greater than our greatest problem. I don't know what your problem is today. I don't know what your trouble is today. But I just want to ensure in you confidence that the Lord is on your side. If you're his child and he's your God, you can trust in the shielding of you. You're just like a chicken, amen, running up under the wings of the mother hen. I made it to safety. Oh, yeah, I got in trouble many a time. And my daddy was standing in the distance. And when I saw him standing out there, I really got busy. Because I know all I had to do is do my dirt <laughs> and strike out running for my shelter. <laughs> I got tired of that boy beating up on me. And my daddy said, get back out there. And when I got out there and I looked around and saw him standing back there, I got busy. <laughs> and after I got busy a little while, <laughs> I took out running <laughs> to my secret place. <laughs> Thank God for my secret place. Because I didn't have trouble out there, rascal, anymore. <laughs> Because I hid in my secret place, and nothing you can do to get to me now. I done done all I can do to you, Ellen. and it's over, and it's done. Hallelujah. The, take confidence in troubled times. 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 Time. It's going to be all right. <laughs> Oh, joy will come in the morning. It's going to be all right. It's working in our favor. It's going to be all right. Just keep on keeping on. The Lord is on our side. He is our shield and our buckler. And we can count on him to see us through. So you know what I feel like now? I feel like running on in the name of Jesus. And I don't want to drag on. I'm not going to hold my head down and kick rocks. 
Just because I'm in lack, hallelujah. But I'm going to hold my head up. I'm taking confidence in his promise. Because he said he would never leave me. Nor would he forsake me. I'm covered by the shelter in the wings of the Almighty. Thank you, Lord, and God bless you. Hallelujah. I have confidence in trouble time.